In the realm of fantasy literature, the villain is not merely a character. They are an embodiment of darkness, a pivotal force that shapes the narrative's essence. The task of creating a compelling villain is a difficult dance between malevolence and complexity. Weaving a character that both captivates and terrifies the audience. To venture into this realm of storytelling, you must tread carefully, crafting a villain that is more than just an antagonist, but a multifaceted entity that adds depth and intrigue to the fantastical world. I like the villain to confuse the reader as well as gain their trust and empathy. It might seem macabre, but that is what villainy is. The act of lulling one into a sense of safety before striking. The importance of a memorable villain lies not solely in their wicked deeds, but in their depth of character. They should possess motivations that, while differing, from the heroes are comprehensible and resonate with a twisted logic. Consider the main villain in my Dweller series. His descent into darkness is fueled by ambition and a series of prophecies from his younger sister. His actions, though deplorable, stem from human desires taken to extreme lengths. Similarly, any fantasy villain should possess a rich backstory, desires and fears that shape their malevolent actions. However, crafting a villain goes beyond just their backstory. It's in the subtle nuances and layers of their personality that truly define their impact. An excellent example is the Joker from the Batman comics. His unpredictability, combined with his skewed sense of humour and all that chaos, make him not just an adversary, but a force that challenges the very ideologies of heroism. A fantasy villain should possess quirks, ideologies and mannerisms that set them apart making them unforgettable. This is always fun to write. Moreover, a compelling villain isn't solely defined by their evil deeds, but by their relationship with the hero. Their conflict should be more than a clash of words and swords. It should be a clash of ideologies, beliefs, morals, or even a twisted reflection of the hero. Think about Frodo and Gollum in the Lord of the Rings series. Gollum, although corrupted, represents the path Frodo could take if consumed by the power of the ring. These relationships heighten the emotional stakes and show the complexity of the narrative. Another crucial aspect to crafting a villain is to avoid making them one-dimensional. Villains, like all characters, should show moments of vulnerability, doubt, or even instances where their actions waver. These little glimpses humanize them and add much needed depth to their characters. A good example here is Darth Vader from the Star Wars series. Despite his menacing and, to me, terrifying presence, his internal conflict and eventual redemption only serve to humanize his character, leaving a lasting impact.
Additionally, the world building within which the villain exists is important. The environment, society and culture in which the villain operates shape their motivations and actions. Whether it's a corrupt kingdom, a magical realm, a dystopian society, the setting should influence and intertwine with the villain's narrative arc. In conclusion, writing a compelling villain in fantasy necessitates a delicate fusion of backstory, complexity and uniqueness. There needs to be a layered relationship with the hero, moments of vulnerability and integration within the world. The crafting of an amazing villain is similar to trying to paint a masterpiece. Each stroke places emotions, challenges our beliefs and resonates with the audience long after the tale has ended. It is in this careful dance of malevolence and depth that the true essence of a fantasy villain emerges leaving an indelible mark on the world they inhabit and the readers who encounter them.